Hey, what's up, everyone? We're playing some Pokemon. We're about to go on the balcony and um, some fireworks. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. No, don't. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. I'm about to be a married man. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks because I watched them with you, David. Yeah, I'm pretty sick, not gonna lie, so. Understandable, honestly. Also, she met me, like, two days ago, so, like, a little strong there, bud. Wow, that was amazing. I never want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur fru. I assume you're satisfied with that? Oh, I almost forgot. The book flute. That's right, we need to wake up the, the thingy to wake up the thingy. Sigh, the Plokafu, huh? Go get it. Okay. It was Shabano Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. Give it to them. Here's the poke flute. Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I'll try and forget about him. You can't imagine how stressed for owning this place is for him. And maybe so, but... Oh, that's right, Mr. Butler, do you, any, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the Palace Library. It has something to do with what you'd now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. Oh, protect. That's not a bad move, actually. Protect blocks opposing Pokemon's moves, but if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you will excuse me, I shall take my leave. The owner of Shebo Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flute, give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. All right. Um. Noted. We have to give it back. So. We will actually be doing that. I I would love to keep it, but I guess there's no reason to keep it. So let's go ahead and um wake up that Snorlax, and then we'll probably go back to Route Seven. Okay, Route Seven. Here we go. And in Route Seven, there are a couple new Pokemon to catch. As you would think. Oops. I genuinely was not looking where I was going. Ooh, an Nincada. Hey, we actually need another one of these, I'm pretty sure. Um, Nincada has two evolutions, right? And I caught one, but I might need a second. So that's actually perfect. Let's go ahead and catch another one. So I don't have to come back and deal with it later. And we did buy some more Pokeballs last episode. We had 12k, and we basically spent all of it on Pokeballs and Great Balls. Thank you, Ninkata. Both Ninkatas have been really easy to catch, so I actually appreciate that quite a bit. Thank you. Scatterbug to four. Oh. Alright, another encounter of something we definitely won't need. I mean, I can catch the Oddish to get a higher level one, but, um... Honestly, from level, like, 6 to 12, dude, that'll be, like, one battle in late game, so I'm really just not worried about it. Esper. Now, here's the one thing I should've done. I should've kept track of what gender the other Esper that I caught was. Um... I don't know if I caught a male or a female. 
Also, I'm like definitely taking the long way out of here, but that's fine. Like I said earlier, technically every encounter is a shiny check. And another one, really like, and if you guys are wondering why I started playing this game. Oh, a fight, okay. I guess we forgot to fight her. The reason I really started this game was because this game has pretty decent um, shiny hunting methods. You know, the Masuda method, it has chain fishing, it has the shiny charm. So, yeah. I The shiny aspect was actually a big reason. So... I could avoid a bunch of encounters, or I could just do the encounters and just have it as like a shiny check and, you know, call it a day. That's what I'm here for anyway. Okay. Got some levels up. Level up, try to learn reflect. Nope. We don't need reflect. I don't need anything on Lady, but to be honest. Um. Nope. Yes. Alright, level 6 Scatterbug. Wow, you're really good. Are you famous person in these parts? In 2k? I'll take 2k. Alright, I gotta slow my, slow my stuff down a hot minute. Okay. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that 2k. Take that 2k any day. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the poker flute? Yeah. Thanks. Wow, you're really the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yeah. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I'll start playing. I really hope we don't kill it, man. Just don't like open its eyes wide. Snorlax appeared. Alright. This is gonna be very... I gotta be very careful not to kill it. Let's just see how much a quick attack does. Okay, not a lot. Lick. Alright, then let's do a... A round. Okay. Still didn't kill it, which is good. Ah, oh, you butthead. That's fine. Okay, good. We got it off. Okay, that's actually fine. It'll still be in the yellow. You butthead. Okay, let's just quick attack it so we can get it back in the yellow. And then we can start throwing stuff. Alright, start chucking Pokeballs. We can probably start with the Premier Ball. Let's see if we can get it in like a cooler ball. Nope. Okay. Let's just keep defending. Um, let's just, let's actually use our Ultra Ball. Again, the Snorlax is a harder catch than most, so... One. Dude, wow, this is a hard catch. Even escape the Ultra Ball like it was not even a problem. Alright, let's start chucking Great Balls, I guess. We, we've spent a lot of money on this one Snorlax already. What in the world, dude? Does it have a, like a legendary Pokemon catch ring? This is nuts. Okay. Let's freaking go, dude. I don't know how many Snorlax are in this game. I know in Leaf Green there was two, so I, you know, I did. I wanted to be very careful with this one because if it is the only one, you know, we gotta get it now. Um, what is Fling? Um. No. No, 
Oh, we don't need that. Alright, sent you to 15. Scatter bug to 7. And we got ourselves a Snorlax. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. That's a lot of pounds, my guy. Also an odd number, that exactly 880. Hey, and we have our Sentry Evolving, which is perfect. Meaning we can put it away and grab something else. Pretty epic. Alright, and we get ourselves... Furry. I thought it was a furry, but I didn't want to say it all loud and look dumb. I'm like, yeah, it's a furry. Of course it is. Of course it's a furry. Awesome, you caught Snorlax. Oof, oof. Oh, the only thing I can do with that poke of food is put on display, but you've been playing since you were little. The tone is lovely. It seems like my fur fru also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful wonder fru fireworks, of course. Yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so I'll be sure to practice more. Alright. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where the Snorlax was sleeping. Um, the daycare? Hey, Big D. Chef said he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. There's a Pokemon daycare. They can take care of your Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step my dance up. What about you, Big D? Um, probably some other time. I don't need anything now. There are many Pokemon that I want to raise. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm gonna look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Hey, wait. Okay, so there aren't currently actually any Pokemon that um, I need. So we're gonna go ahead. Or, you know, there's not any that I want to leave in here. But we're kind of good to go. Now, what is this? I don't know where I'm at right now. Am I Route 7? Okay, we're back. So, let's, I guess, start looking for Pokemon, right? So, there's specific Pokemon in the yellow flowers and purple flowers. And then, shaking areas. And hordes. Okay. Alright, well, I guess let's, um, is there any normal- Ooh, Tierno's in there. I guess let's talk to him first. You already caught a Dunsparce? You're amazing. Oh, thanks, bud. A heated battle against a Traveler would provide me with the inspiration that I need. Challenged by artist Georgia. Oh, let me guess, what- What Pokemon would a painter have? Other than Shimergle. Let's give it a water pulse. And we could also... It's a little bit of a waste that I'm having Scatterbug evolve, because we could probably just catch one of the Scatterbug, but... Real quick, I also want to check how far... Um, how uh Challenging the mount? Okay. So you've seen Oh, how lost, how frustrating. So you've seen Ralts 2, Big D? Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can sure make you happy. Okay, did he like not wanna do anything give me something? Alright, well there is a Roselia. Which is another reason why like having the Badoo right now isn't super important because I could just catch one of these. Um Gonna quick attack it. Mega Drain, that's not good. 
Well, it's actually maybe is good actually though because it'll help me get it closer to red actually. I'm gonna give it another quick attack. All right, and that sets me up perfectly to chuck a Pokeball at its head. level ups. It uses a different poison it's in each hand separately when it attacks. The stronger its aroma, the healthier it is. Very cool. Alright, we got our Scatterbug evolving, meaning we probably now no longer need that Spupa. But we still need to get that Volby and the Illumis from the Shaking, so that's fine too. Actually, no, we can get those from standard walking, so we're fine on those also. You got your scatter bug evolved into a spupa. Clean you know, protect. Ooh. You there, you're the perfect model for our next painting. They can have two smeagles. You're challenged by artist family, Mano and Voila. Two Smeargles. Now I always wondered why the Smeargle only has that disgusting green paint. Don't you use anything else? Um, let's go ahead and use a cut. And we'll go ahead and do it on the same Smeargle, just in case this water pulse doesn't kill it initially. We're fine, apparently. Zigzaguna 16. Well, that wasn't bad, actually. Okay. It painted a gun. Uh, okay, helping hand failed. Your buddy's dunzo, dude. Pupa level 10. Yahoo! This is gonna be our best work yet! I'll never forget our battle together! With uh, that 3.5k bonus. David, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau. It's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Okay. This is a long route. Wow. I'm just trying to find the end of the route, to be honest. A blank canvas before me, yet no inspiration from which to paint. Just a bunch of Smeargle. It seems like every game has a Smeargle route, which is oddly like, yeah, haha, funny. You know, all the painters all have Smeargles, but like, also why, you know? Do we really need to have a smear go route every game? Alright, Ladybug level 16. Routes level 10. I've got it! If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Big D and me. Alright. Might as well battle together, right? Alright, let's do it. Coconut head. He's got a Pikachu. Cool. I like this double battle. Let's go ahead and water pulse the Pikachu. Okay. There we go. Just pupa to 11. Vice grip, huh? He vice gripped the fletchling, which is nice. Right, we got a flood baby going. Um, we can go ahead and round it. Another 
quick attack, another core fish. I'm gonna sing to the Fabebe horribly. Ouch. They're gonna kill the poop out of that fletchling. Oh no. Ooh, sir. She's got a second. Right, let's hit that Fabebe. Get rid of that. Alright, well now she's got her grass type, which should be super effective against the core fish. So go ahead and yes, please use a grass move against core fish and should be solid here. Let's learn double kick. Nope, we're fine. I'll screw to 11. Well, well, that was a nice move, so you can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. 6k? Dang, we're just doing 6k from our homies. That's not even, like, nice. Alright, we got our bundle the evolving, which is pretty cool. Always digging the music. We got a Diggersby. Disgusting, disgusting Diggersby. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of Double Slap. Double Slap's not that useful. Alright. Pretty cool. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer style is. Well, I guess we should head over to Ambret Town then. Okay, so what is Ambert Town? Is that over here? I know, I'm like, maybe going a little too far. Okay. Well, hey, one route at a time, right? We'll see, is this still Route 7? What? What is this? Oh, that's a shortcut. I'm guessing this is another way. I'm just trying to find out where the route ends, my guy. Like, what's the difference between... Okay, and what is this? Okay, so they're both shortcuts. Is this still Route 7? I guess let's see what we encounter. Is this still Route 7? It looks like it is, because... Yeah. Oh, so Route 7 is the longest order than the Kalos. Okay, so... Yes, this is still Route 7. Okay. Well, then we can even come over here to kind of... Get what we need. So... There are a few Pokemon that we need to get, and this is what we're going to spend basically most of our next couple minutes doing. We have Flabebe, we have Roselia, we have... Well, we're going to get the Ducklet in a second once it stops running away, or breaking out of the ball. And then we need Krogunk, Smeargle, Volbeat, Illamese, and Swirlix, along with... Actually, I think that's it. Yeah. That should be it. Alright, but again, I need this to stop jumping out of the ball, for for war. Thank you, Duckling. Zagoon is 17. No, we don't need Odor Sleuth. When attacked, it uses its feathers to splash water, escaping under the cover of the spray. Okay. Let's keep looking in here. What do we got next? Rogunk. That is the most common Pokemon in this area, and another one that we indeed do need. Go ahead and quick attack it. Woo! Almost killed it. Glad we didn't, though. Alright, go to Pokeball. Should a great, great ball at this. 
I just don't feel like it escaping right now, so let's do that. It's cheeks hold poison sacks. It tries to catch foes off guard to jab them with its toxin fingers. Okay. Well, now we're looking for the bugs and the schmeargle. That is not what we're looking for. Alright, let's run away and keep looking here. Um, that is actually the rarest one that we still need, so that's very nice that we got this one. That's the five percenter. Oh, critical hit! I almost killed it. Good thing it's not super weak, because I would have probably killed it very easily. So far, these Pokemon aren't being too difficult. All we need is Smeargle and two bugs. That's it. And we we would be all set. When Tank wants opponents in battle, extrudes white threads as sweet and sticky as cotton candy. But are they like food? Ooh, Spupa is evolving. Hey, another evolution. You love to see it. Congrats, your Spupa evolved into a Vivillon. Vivi? Vivillon. Vivillon, yeah. Also, a Struggle Bug. Sure, we'll forget about String Shot for Struggle Bug. Cool. Very nice. And there's a berry. Berry and an item. Some berry. What about the item? Tiny mushroom. I'm pretty sure every game has a guy who picks mushrooms to teach moves, right? So that's probably what we're gonna use that one for. All right, let's see. All right, give me a bug. <laughs> Thank you. There we go, Volbeat. Got ourselves the Volbeat. I don't. I don't know why they added these bugs into the game. Like, both Volby and the Illumis, like aren't like cool Pokemon, they're not useful, they can't evolve. I don't particularly understand why they're in the game, but um... Uh... Ah, who am I to judge? All I know is I gotta look for both of them. Well, at least there's an easy catch. That's the important part. At least there's an easy catch. Lady Bud is 17. Mock Punch? Yeah, sure. Forget about Super Sonic. There we go. It communicates with others by lighting up its rear at night. It loves Illumis' sweet aroma. Weird, but K. Alright, just two more. Smeargle and Illumise. Illumise, something like that. Another Volbeat. You don't need your Volbeat. Yo, you rascal. Go away. Oh, hey, there's the other bug. The other bug. The other useless bug that is slightly more appealing because it doesn't look like it's wearing gigantic like headphones on it or maybe it's the face maybe the other one's face just looks dumb 
I don't know. I just don't. I don't like these two bugs. I'll catch them. I don't like them. So a waste of two Pokemon Pokedex slots. At least there's a catch. Okay, all we need to look for is that sm Smurgle. Smurgle. And then actually, I totally forgot, but we actually do have to find Hop Up in a Horde. Its fragrance attracts a swarm of bull beats, so they draw over 200 patterns at night. Yes, actually, Smeargle and then the Hopip Horde. So, can't forget about that one. What? What? Huh? I didn't initiate a horde. I mean, that's fine. I need to hop it. You mostly just took me by surprise of why they're here. Okay, well, let's hope they don't put me to sleep. Honestly, that's all that matters to me. Just please do not put me to sleep. Synthesis. Okay. Tail whip. That's fine. Alright, they're gonna lower my defense a bunch, but honestly not that big of a deal. Let's just try to get rid of them as fast as possible. Splash! Okay. Let's do that one next. Uh, all we'll have left is Smeargle. And that wouldn't have even been there if I didn't get it on accident. Like a little dummy. Alright, one more. And then that last one we will catch and enslave. Okay, um, I'm just gonna start chucking balls. I don't feel like killing it, so I'm not gonna even like, quick attack it, because I will kill it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep chucking balls, that's fine. Come on. Accidental hop it board, but I'll take it. Its body is so light it must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep from being blown away. Alright, last one is the Schmeargle. Can we maybe get it? Sitting here on Reddit. There's not, there's, there it is. All right, that's what we're looking for. Right, let's go ahead and just quick attack it and not bubble it, because bubble apparently will kill it. <sighs> I almost got really sad very, very quickly. Attack on me. Come on, Schmeargle, just work with me here. Throw a great ball at it. Very nice. 
very cool. And officially, we have caught all of the Pokemon on Route 7. It marks its territory by using its tail like a paintbrush. There are more than 5,000 different marks. Cool. Well, according to Cerebi, we have gotten all of the Pokemon. There is only one Pokemon that we're missing, but it is actually a version exclusive. So, we are good to go. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to go back and heal, head back here, and save, and we'll probably end off the episode. Okay, everybody, um, we did good for today. We brought up our Pokedex to, like, 76, but I gotta go. See you guys later.